awesome. How much have you done it? What was it like to see it? It was awesome. I was I was so pleased because you know David and I had not seen it before, so we're nervous. We're we're hopeful that it's that it's going to be as as good as we want it to be, and it was. I was very happy with it. Um, so so I'm smiling. Yeah. yeah. Did you like it? Did you guys like yeah. it? I mean, it's like Chris is great, and, and, and David and Jillian just killed it. You know? And, and um, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was thrilled the whole time I was sitting there watching. You mentioned uh, that that one line was uh, improvised. Is that some, when you have Chris Carter writing your episodes? Is that something you can do often, or is that a trust that you sort of built up over time? It's a trust. It's a trust thing, and I think Chris is pretty. You know, Chris is, has always been great about. It. Taking suggestions, and, and I think it fit it fit very well with with Skinner. You know the way the way he the way he talks and the way his his his, his chemistry with with Mulder. I think is, is very much uh, it's very. And it would like I said like I said it was it was a, it was a line that a, my, one of my bosses had said to me at one one point. And I thought I'm going to use that one, day. one of these days. And man, was that the perfect <laughs> time to do it. Um, and I, as soon as I said it. I think I, I, I may have even said it in, in rehearsal before I even talked to Chris about it. And then I said, is that okay? And he goes, it's great. It works great. So, um, I was happy. How many episodes? I can't. Spoilers. Has, has Chris been here yet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to say, ask Chris. Yeah, I don't know if they want me to, to say. What was it like to see that scene where you walk into the office? Pencils are off, the posters on the floor. That must have been the real deja vu all over again. It really was, you know. It was, it was, uh, it was weird seeing the poster on the floor, and then when he kicked it and tore it, I was like, I was like, going, whoa, wait a minute, that's like, you can't do that. Um, but uh, it, it was, it was very cool. It was, it was just, you know, the, the fact that the office was empty and, and you know, it was, it was. It, um, it was kind of strange, you know, but you still had the pencils in the ceiling, so that was kind of that was very cool. Uh, but it was it, it just uh, it felt it felt really good, you know, um, walking through that door and, and, and interacting, standing across from David and, and playing these two characters again. Too much in his life was like the past fifty years. Well, he's he's obviously still in the FBI. He's he's, he's not progressed very far as far as because he is still an assistant director. Um, so, and I think that a lot of that is probably due to the fact of his relationship with, with Mulder uh, and Scully over you know, all those years and the way things ended with, with them when they left, left the FBI. Um, so he's probably been ostracized to a certain you know, extent um, and maybe punished, but... He obviously has, and I, I've been meaning to talk to Chris about this because I don't know, but who else in the FBI would open up the X-Files? And does he have the power to? So he obviously has a very, very powerful ally someplace that is that is helping him do what he needs to do. Because he's opened up the X-Files before, you know, and... Do um, you think it's been the same person the entire time? It very possibly could, you know, so... Um, as an actor, I probably should, I should have, you know, should know that in my mind. I should, that should be very well cemented. But it is, that, that thought is there that he has, he, he has some connection to somebody very, very powerful who's, who's helping him to uh, bring about the things that he, he feels needs to be done. Um, and directing them to Ted O'Malley, I think, was, was, was a big... A big part. So I, I don't know if it's if it's O'Malley and the people that had that had the uh, you know the spaceship in that hangar. If, if there's somebody behind them that that he has some connections to. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kirsch is on. Kirsch is on. Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's in the shadows. Which which I play his boss on Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. So I did. I did. I used to yeah. for a while, which is kind of funny. We got we got quite a kick out of it. Do you guys recognize more from next files or talks about it? I have to tell you, maybe because it's 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 more recent, but Sons of Anarchy. I get a lot of a lot of that, you know. So but I would this, think supernatural as well. 
and Supernatural. Yeah, I love the character you know, on that show. Did you really? Yeah. A lot of people didn't. A lot of the I Supernatural did. fans didn't I know. care so much. And they let the you know Campbells. it, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> and that's okay because I, t I have to yeah. be honest, I wasn't crazy about that storyline. Mm -hmm. I couldn't understand it and I didn't, you know, maybe it's just because I'm thick and I don't really, you know, understand a lot of things, but right. um, I didn't, I couldn't, get, I could never really get a, a handle on where they were going with, with that. And I don't think they could either, so. Yeah. Did you find it uh, necessary at all to go back and revisit some old X-Files, or did you prefer to sort of... I didn't. Did, did, really? Yeah. Why was that? Because I, because in my mind I know this character, <laughs> and I know that, I know, I know who he is and what he's about and his, his, his relationship with Mulder and Scully. Um, I think it's just ingrained in me after playing him for so many years. Um, I mean, I do go back and watch. I do go back. Like I, the other day I watched Zero Sum because I was, I was tweeting the next day with folks about it. Um, so I do go, and, and it's like, I guess, and when I do go back and watch, and my daughter, I, I go back and watch, because I didn't let my daughter watch it for a long time. Um, and then when she became old enough, because I thought it was appropriate for her to watch, um, I, I, I would sit down and watch shows with her. And it's, it's going back and watching the show is, is it's so, for me, it's so fulfilling, because it, it was really good, you know, and, and um, at least I thought it was really good. Can and you separate yourself from you Can you watch it as you watching Skinner, or are you still watching yourself? A little bit of both. I still see. So it depends. It depends. Sometimes, sometimes I, I I can see that I really lost myself in Skinner. Sometimes I can see that I was acting. That as an actor, that's what bothers me. There's char certain characters. I did a, char a character on Criminal Criminal Minds that. Um, that's probably that's probably my favorite performance of any anything I've, I've done on screen. Um, because I lost myself in that character so much. And sometimes I don't think I allowed myself to do that with Skinner. I think I could have done, I think I could have done a better job with Skinner in a lot of episodes. Um, but that's just me being very critical of myself and, and uh, Can you say anything of like when your character goes in? Not any more than what you guys saw today. <laughs> no, nothing. Everything felt, you know, everything felt. I run into Jillian and I see each other at, at, at these things, you know, on occasion. So I've, I've seen her a number of times over the years. I haven't seen David for a long time. Um, so I mean, as far as seeing them, it was, it was, it was. Uh, it felt it felt normal, uh, but um, as far as as far as the character of the show, no, not really. Did you say that Other than the fact he's Skinner no longer has hair on the top of his head and he has hair on his face. Would you say then that the, there's a lot of timeless qualities to the show that it's not just coming back because it's a nostalgia wave, like all the movies that get rebooted? For I think it's I think it's very valid right now. With, with with the way our world is and the way the governments and, and the, the, the interaction of, of people is just so excuse me but so fucked up you know and and, um, and and so it's it's I, I think that there's a lot of well, there's a lot of stories to be told through this show with that stuff I mean it's like we're in a mess this world this world's in a mess you know and, and uh, and if I was an alien, I wouldn't be coming anywhere near this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, being a, an FBI, an FBI, so an officer of the law and the government, how, how do you say Skinner has reacted with the, all the hacking and surveillance and Snowden and stuff? Well, I mean, the fact the fact that he's directing Mulder and Scully to Ted O'Malley, I think it is, is pretty much answers that question. Yeah. yeah. You know. He's, he sees he sees shit going down and he's going, dude, I can't do this. You need to come back and do it, you know. So, and, and I will be here to help facilitate whatever you need to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.